What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, the game coming out on October 26th. I want to talk about why I'm buying the game, and you should too. Now, that is the general, uh, that, that's, I guess, the title. That is my template for these kind of videos. I don't know if this is going to be one of those ones where I really am pitching the game to you. It's, it's more or less just kind of describing where I'm at with the game, and that's, I think it does make it very interesting uh, to me, right, because it's a game that I feel like I'm giving a shot to I still do not have full confidence of this game at all and so again like you know the template of the you know I guess the title is the way that it is but it's not necessarily in this case uh, you know, like a pitch to you guys to buy the game as well because I could understand people being very uh, you know just not interested in this again to me it's the idea of it to me it's the potential that's I guess the word I was looking for in the beginning it's the potential I really think if everything kind of comes together, this could be a really solid game. I think if things kind of fall apart here and there, it's just going to be so average that it's it's just not probably worth a lot of people's time. And, uh, and I say that from somebody who, I guess the first time we saw it, that was kind of the same. I, like, I've never really changed my viewpoint of this game. I think it looked solid. I think... Like, the conversations are cool. I mean, people are describing it, even, like, the previews, which I, I will talk about those in a second. You know, like a Mass Effect thing, where it's like, okay, well, don't don't you dare compare this game to Mass Effect unless you know what you're doing, unless you know that it really is like Mass Effect. But no, in, in reality, like, the, the, the talking, the conversations do look really solid. The combat, I will say this, the combat I am... Uh, I, I'm not a fan of, but I'm not as down on as I've seen. I feel like the combat is really like the main thing that's that's pushing people away, which I understand, by the way. But for me, I don't think it looks all that bad. Um, it's it is kind of like a stiff, almost like it's like a turn, a, like a turn based kind of game, except for you're constantly moving around. But I don't actually mind what we've seen of it so far. Um, I, I like the dynamic of the Guardians of the Gap, like the actual Guardians. Uh, not necessarily in the game, but like I like what you could do with it. The idea of what you could do for villains. The visual appeal. I do think visually it looks pretty darn solid. I'm not the biggest fan of how some of them look. I'm not the biggest fan. And again, like this is why these are the things that do scare me. I'm not going to lie to people. I'm not going to say like, oh, this game is just giving me all the right vibes. Because it's not. It's not. I don't like how some of them look. I don't like the voices of some of them. I think that none of the jokes pretty much in all of the things they've ever shown of this game like maybe 10 percent of the jokes actually work in my in my by the way these are all just my viewpoints and we don't have to agree on them as long as we don't attack each other and kill each other it's completely fine uh at least for me so i like that's where i stand you know what i mean there there are things that scare me yeah the combat doesn't look absolutely incredible um to me i guess the biggest thing is that story right the story and choosing what you're going to be doing and, and making those choices and, and seeing where it takes us that's that's good now getting to the previews right because you know we've gotten trailers we've gotten the g gameplay segments it's very easy to i guess frame a game to look the way you want it to in those things you have complete control over it as a developer right so there's nothing so that's that also by the way i do trust the developers they're i to me they're a pretty talented group so that i guess also lends credibility that maybe just Things haven't come off the way they maybe wanted it to, but they have a lot of talent there. But when the previews came out, here's the deal. I saw a wide range. Let's say that. I feel like, at worst, people said, like, the game is average, the game's kind of fun, right? That's, to me, like, the low point of what I saw in those previews. To me, most of the previews were in that range, that it's maybe better than you think it was going to be, and I don't know if that's a good thing because that just means that we're all expecting garbage and that it's slightly better than that. Again, these are not actual attacks. These are kind of jokes, kind of things that are actually happening, but that's where it kind of, in my opinion, was. Do you know what I mean? That this game is actually solid fun. There is stuff to this game. You should be paying attention to it. I'm telling you guys the complete truth. After the preview, I, I did feel better about about this game now should I trust what game journalists say no I never should I never will I really never have but you know it's still I guess it still means something right also not just game journalists were able to play this other people were able to play it as well now again you did have that high 
group as well where it's like wow this game is actually incredibly good that's i think where the mass effect comparison started coming in which again i think you have to be very very careful now not everybody even likes mass effect i absolutely adore that franchise not andromeda but i, I absolutely love the mass effect franchise so you do have to be careful when you throw stuff around because I guess at the same time, if this game comes out and it's such a surprise hit where it's like, no, this literally is like like a, a foundation for where you could go for like more Guardians games, and this really is like a Mass Effect 1 kind of thing, I, I, I mean, my dear G, you know what I mean? Like, that actually would be incredible. So I'm hoping for it. That's, again, the thing. Hope. I'm hoping that this game is going to be really good. Um, to me, I've just... And another thing, I guess, and I always kind of say this for the end in terms of like financials because these are very... You know, money doesn't grow on trees. It, it's up to you, and you have your money, and you have your situation. I have mine, right? For me, I look at October. It's a filled month. Like, I also don't blame people that would wait on it, that would say, hey, I just, you know, there's too many other games going. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why, even financially. not. And then you have to add on, like, do you actually like what you've seen so far, right? But even financially, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I, I, I've, I guess, isolated this game. And I've said, okay, this is going to be a game I'm going to get at the very end of the month, right, October 26th. Now, Battlefield not coming out when it was supposed to does, I would say, help. Because Battlefield was supposed to come out, I think, four days before this. But now this game comes out relatively light competition right before, right after. Then there's really nothing else until November 9th, which I believe is Forza and uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Obviously, later in the month, then you have Battlefield, then you have Pokemon and stuff. So I, I don't know. I feel like... For a story-based game, kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure game, you have, you know, 10, 15, 20 hours. Now, I will make a video, and we'll talk about, you know, how long we think the game should be or how long the game will be, because it's kind of been conflicting reports. But, uh, you know, that's like maybe a week or two that for some people, I mean, I, I, I think I would try, and I probably would beat the game in like three to five days. That'd probably be my average. But, you know, some people would take much longer than that. So some people would take actually shorter than that. But that's that's a pretty good amount of time. So I... I like its placement. I think it kind of worked out for it because maybe if it came out like a week or two earlier, I maybe would have waited on it. But this is a game I've circled, honestly, for a long time. And this is a game I, I have planned on buying for a while, and I'm going to do it. And uh, I, I'm, ho I'm not, you know, there are, are going to be people that say, you know, whatever they want to say about me, right, that I hate this or hate that. I'm going in kind of with an open mind. I guess I'm going in with expectations generally low, hoping for it to just kind of be fun, a different kind of experience, a different kind of Marvel experience. And honestly, historically, at least this year, when I've gone into games with that mindset, sometimes they blow me away. So like, I actually, you know, maybe the more I talk about it, the more I feel good about it. Because I'm not expecting, I really, I'm, I'm not, guys. I'm not expecting much from this game. And, and, and maybe that does scare people off. You know what I mean? You see this game and you think, there's nothing outrageously good that like that like screams at you. You know what I mean? You see God of War, and I'm just gonna and I'm not like a Sony guy, but you just kind of throw out examples. You see God of War, you see what people are saying about like Halo Infinite's multiplayer, right? There's things that are very big that like jump out and say, like, here's the reason to get it. For this they're kind of quiet reasons. They're not like the most loud in the world. And there's also a lot of things that are kind of scary about the game in terms of quality, but it's kind of a risk. And I, you know, there's games like that. And you know what? There's games that are like that when, when, and then you buy them and you play them and they are exactly what you thought they were. Like they're not going to be good or they're like, they disappoint you or they surprise you. And they're a lot better than you thought they were going to be. So I'm hoping for that one. That's, that's the one I'm hoping for. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships links are all in the description the join button is obviously right next to the subscribe button for the youtube memberships i will cover guardians more we'll probably do about a video a week or so uh, you know over the next several weeks until the game comes out i'm gonna uh, buy it day one we'll play it i'll have videos on it as well you know when the game is out thank you for watching and i'll see you all there